Now, yet again, you guys will probably be able to tell by my voice, I am a little bit sick. For those of you who follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you'll already know, but I went to LD Shadow Lady's birthday party last night and we were up really, really late and we were singing a lot and things like that. So now my voice is completely gone. I'm a bit sick as well. So you guys, please bear with me. I don't sound the best, but I have something important that I want to talk to you about in today's video. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course use star code B when buying Robux or premium. You guys, we hope you like our new premiere trailer by the way that we just started using on our videos before they premiere. And also we just wanted to remind you of a couple of important dates. On the 29th of October, starting at noon Eastern Time, we are going to be doing a 13-hour charity live stream on Twitch, raising money for Extra Life, which is a charity that raises money for children's hospitals. And on the 3rd of December, we'll be doing a 24-hour stream. So we hope you guys will come along and support. And thank you so much to everybody who does in advance. That's right, you guys. We are always absolutely thrilled by your support. So I want to say thank you so much to every single one of you who always comes by, supports us, and is just wonderful. You guys are the best and we couldn't ask for a better community. Now you guys, today I wanted to talk to you specifically about something very, very exciting. As you guys know, there's been a lot of changes coming to Royal High recently, especially different things that have been happening that I feel are going to really shape the future of the game. There's a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys that I think are starter indications that everything for Royal High is about to change. Particularly if these things are any indication that we're going to get anything similar to these inside the new school. School. Now, obviously, you guys will know that there's going to be lots of exciting new things when the new school comes out, but these small little hints, in my opinion, just help to make things look even more exciting and are going to bring some really exciting things to the game. So, first things first, you guys, the first one I really want to talk about if we head into my inventory and pop it on really quick is, of course, the Halo toggles. The newest Halo in the game, as you guys may already know, does actually have toggles. This is the first Halo to ever have toggles in Royal High. And in my opinion, I believe that that is a big deal. The reason for that, you guys, is simply because oh, this is the first time we've had something like this. But I don't see any reason why the devs wouldn't continue it. Now, for those who don't know, in old art pieces from years and years and years ago, Halos actually wear on the back of your head like this instead of floating above your head. It's only in popular culture in modern day when we've started making making them actually go above your head instead. Now, you guys, I think it's really exciting that the developers have created something like this. Particularly, I think it's exciting that they've given us options to be able to change the size and things like that. So we can really choose how we want to wear it and use it. I think customization is definitely something that is on the developers' minds, especially since toggles are basically going crazy. Every single time we get new items or new sets, there's so many toggles added. And some old items, of course, have been having toggles added too. So I really, really feel that this is an indication for the future. I think Halos in the future, you guys, are going to be having toggles. I think there's going to be options for us to change how our Halos look. And you never know, some of the older Halos might even get updated. You might think, why would they do that? But they've updated skirts and heels and other items from the past. So why not update some of the Halos as well? You never know. You guys, I think that this indicates a very bright future for Halos in general. And hopefully, more Halos that you guys can enjoy, where less people dislike them, because literally, everybody's are going to be just like each other's but you'll be able to toggle them to the version you like so in other words people won't be able to complain as much because you're able to choose by the way small thing i noticed about the halo that i never mentioned before if you look at these little chains here as the like status changes of the halo as it spins around the little chains of the dangling diamonds actually stay pointing down so if you look closely you can see look it's actually moving around so it stays pointing down rather than sticking out just a small thing that I noticed, which is actually really incredibly well made. Now, the next thing I want to share with you guys is to do with sounds. As you guys know, I don't normally play with raw high sounds turned on because they're quite obnoxious. But if you do put them on right now, one thing that I am noticing is how many new things have sound effects, particularly that healers and clocks and things like that now have sound effects in the game. As you can see, that sounds really, really cool. 
and I think that these sound effects have an indication for the future. I'm starting to think that more items in the game are going to have their own custom sound effects as time goes on. Now, obviously, a lot of these sound effects are really not obtrusive, I guess. They're not annoying because you can only hear them if you're close to them. So it's not something that you're going to have a big issue with being able to listen to, but they are really cool. A good example is that if you put on the steampunk set, if I just wear it really quickly, I'll just need to adjust it slightly because it does have two belts on for some reason in my outfit that I haven't fixed yet. I do need to work on that, you guys. I don't really know why it's got two belts on. I'm thinking that maybe, potentially, I've put a belt option on with the pants. I think I have. Let's change the pants to one that doesn't have a belt. Is there one with trousers that doesn't have a belt? It doesn't look like it. It looks like all the trouser ones have belts. Um, Actually, you guys, come to think of it, I don't think it's actually the pants that I'm wearing. I think it looks like I've got another belt from somewhere else. Sort of glitching over the top look. It's like a white belt. Is that from the skirt, maybe? Yeah, I think the skirt's belt, maybe, is adding it. But then again, hmm. Let me try. It's not the skirt, I don't think. Hmm. Okay. What is adding that white belt, you guys? It's not the shoes. Oh, it's the sword. Okay. Give me one second, you guys. I'm a noob. So again, you guys, with regards to the sound effects, the clock on the actual piece over here, the skirt, has a different ticking sound, as you can hear. And it actually makes a different noise, too, when it hits the hour. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is actually to do with this clock. This clock shows the real-life time. Similar to how the time inside the apartments on the microwave is also your real-life time. I just feel, you guys, that these are just small things that they're adding in that just make the game so much more, like, realistic and livable and exciting. And I think these are all indications of some really, really exciting things that are coming in the future. And I really feel like we should all be excited about them. Now, obviously, I realize you guys obviously have a lot of excitement for Royal High's future updates anyway. And the devs are always innovating, so I'm sure there's going to be amazing things to come. But I just think that these things are so cool and such amazing additions and that people aren't giving them enough credit or talking about them enough. I am genuinely so excited for when we get to see more of stuff like this and how it develops in the game. And I'm sure you guys are as well. So that all means, is there anything else inside these new updates that you think is going to shape Royal High's future? Let me know in the comments down below. I am always interested in your opinion. But for now, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time. That all means, I love you all lots. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. I'll see you.